So I got to touch on something, guys. Uh, people of my age were crusty as hell. We were crusty when we were young because there was all this idea of what's traditional and what's not. If we got a guy back in the old days that shot three under and used the arrow to aim with, like, well, he's kind of cheating. Well, I hate to say that those cheaters just kicked our butts. Uh, virtually every single one of them that was aiming with the arrow was a much more accurate shot. At known distances, we could not beat them with our instinctive aim and split finger shooting. Um, <laughs> so I want to create accuracy for you guys. And if, you, if you, the idea of being an uh, instinctive aimer appeals to you, that's fine. It's something that's, that a good percentage of men can develop over time. But let's get on the target. Let's be accurate right away. Uh, let's be able to put an arrow right in a kill area with a good aim right off the bat. If we want to morph this into an instinctive aim later, we sure can. Um, in fact, it, it, when you have used the arrow as an, as an aiming device or a single pin sight, basically, you're going to get on the target faster. Your brain is going to see a sight picture to the bullseye a lot quicker, and it's going to enhance your ability to be an instinctive aimer later on. So. I am not uh, crusty like many of the folks my age. I want to produce accuracy. And what I find is when I use a, a gap style of aim where I know if I put the arrow six inches below the target, I'll hit the target. I just convert it to an instinctive aim basically anyway. I put the arrow at the gap six inches below. And we'll get into this later when we talk about aiming methods. But I put the arrow where it needs to be to set my height. And I just look at the spot, which is what we're going to teach you to do anyway. So anyways, let's just talk about uh, cr the crustiness of what's trad and what's not. We're shooting a single string bow. All the power is coming out of you and your muscles. Uh, the skill levels and aiming methods have been used for centuries, all the different ones. So there's nothing new under the sun. So let's just put all that to rest right now.